two-year-old dwarf hamster missing an eye. What happened? She's gonna die. In her hand held a weak hamster that was in a great deal of pain. Her eyes popped out two days ago. There's a white spot. I think it is a cataract. The eye surgery was quoted $400 by another vet. The hamster was then stabilized and undergo surgery to remove the pop eye. This is the summary of the surgical procedure. Dextro saline is given as the hamster is very tired, sleepy and de dehydrated. The young lady owner thinks he has died. He was transferred from another vet practice which quoted $400 for the surgery. After that, the damaged eyeball will be removed. The hamster is unfit for anesthesia and surgery, but further delay means death. This is the overall illustration of the surgical procedure. The picture on the top shows a normal eye, whereas the picture on the bottom shows an abnormal protruded eye. The following slides are the step-by-step -step illustration about the eye enucleation procedures in a hamster. The hamster is anesthetized by passing isoflurane gas into the container containing the hamster until the body is limp. 4 mm of lateral canthus is incised as shown. The optic nerve is clamped using a small curved forcep. However, no ligation is done in this case because it is too small. Incision of optic stalk. Some bleeding may be expected after the incision. However, it will clot soon as the vessels are tiny. Trimming of eyelids. We have to trim the upper and lower eyelid so that it creates fresh wounds and the edges will heal when stitched together. Stitching of eyelid margins. Post operation. Prolapsed eyeball has been taken out two days ago. There is a blood clot. The dwarf hamster is active and eating. The owner asks why is there a bleeding wound distant from the operated area. It could be a wound due to previous scratching when the hamster rubbed its painful popped out eye. Five days later, the hamster came in again to take out the stitches because it was scratching, which resulted in a wound. This is because the owner refused pain medication. There are several differences between the eye enucleation procedures in cats and dogs as compared to the procedures in hamster. These are the differences between hamster and dog enucleation. These are the illustrations of enucleation in cats and dogs. Another case is a Syrian hamster, male, one year old, with right eyeball prolapse. Isoflurangus anesthesia, top up mass, is very risky as the dosage is directly inhaled. The vet gave gas for less than 5 seconds in the mask and stitch up the eye fast. Usually, the vet puts the hamster in a small container to smell the isoflurangus, as it is much safer. The vet used 5-0 absorbable stitches to stitch up the excised eyelid margins. The owner does not come back for stitch removal, saving her money and time as the stitches dissolve 14 to 28 days later. This is the surgical illustration of the enucleation of the eye. The correct dosage of injectable anesthesia and top-up gas are important to achieve a successful outcome. The young lady owner was very happy to see her hamster alive and well after anesthesia. The only phone call was that the lady owner overshot the antibiotic me medication inside the syringe. Other than that, this hamster had an excellent outcome and did not see me again within 30 days after the surgery. The Syrian hamster was active and recovered from anesthesia within 5 minutes after completion of eye surgery. Tips and advices for owners. Eye injuries are emergencies. See your vet within 24 hours to save the eyesight of a hamster. Chances of saving eyesight depend on severity.